grew down to Ron's house of math, finally started to turn the camera on after, oh, we've only been at this for 50 minutes or so. <laughs> so missed most of the lesson, but this is an important part of the lesson, so and I don't have it written down. We are doing analysis with these blocks right here. All right, so what we figured out is, okay, so our first rectangle I'm looking at, it's just 18 divided by six, it's easy, right? Let me figure out this symbol right here. I have two out of the three. I'm looking right. Therefore, x is the same thing as 18 divided by 6, which is the same thing as 3. That's the long way of going about it. We know that that's got to be. Now, this thing right here is 6. This has to be 3. All right, so now I'm going to change it. Like I said, you got to, I'm using my whiteboard, but you got to draw another one. So this time, oh, wait, I'm going to leave that the same. So this time I'm saying I don't know what that one is, and I know that one's 3. So can you write that one out? What does that say? I'm ready. Okay, so what does that one say? Uh, 18. Mm-hmm. Three. Ah, slow down. Eighteen divided by three. Eighteen. Oh, yeah. That's technically, yes, you're correct. But if I was writing it the same, because you're right, it is eighteen by. I know the rectangle. I know one side, but I'm leaving it like this. I haven't turned my blocks. I'm leaving it like this. So what do I have? Three divided by eight. Well, wait a minute. I have eighteen. Do I know what I'm dividing by? No. I do not know. So I have eighteen divided by x is the same thing as. Uh, See, this is, the, this is what we're doing. We've done this, we started in the concrete, we got the drawings, and now we're trying to figure out this part, the symbols. Alright, so we've got two out of the three. And again, again alright. So we've got concrete and drawing, and now we're trying to figure out. Right? Okay, so what do I have? I have 18 divided by, I don't know. See, thinking's very, uh, thinking's highly overrated. And I know your brother's three. not helping. It's three. Yeah. So 18 divided by some number is three. Therefore, yes. how do I figure out what x is? You divide, you, you would divide 18 by three. Uh, why? You're correct, but why? What am I doing? You would figure out how many times three would go to 18. How come? Wait a second, you're correct, how come? Okay, because you have this rectangle and you're cheating because you know, because you can see the picture. But if I'm in mathematics and I'm flying blind and I don't have the picture, what did I do? No fun, get back to one. Multiply both sides of the algebraic principle. Multiply this by x, multiply that by x. See that? Yeah. Now, what do I have over here? Sir, yeah. what do I have? One, one X. I have one X. That's what I have right there. I have one, right? So therefore, 18 is the same thing as 3X. I can keep going. 3X is the same thing as 18. Now what? Is that any fun? No. Why not? I don't want to know about 3X, do I? What do I want to know about? You want to know about 1X. I want to know about 1X. So what do I got to do? You have no fun to get back to one again? Yes, no fun to get back to one again. Now I get to there, which we, right? But I mean, we're just seeing that, no, if I just, right, therefore, right, again, one, therefore, 18 divided by three, we can see, we know it's got to be six, but this is how to do it using the algebra. X must be the same thing as 18 divided by three. Doing all the steps here. Therefore... Oops, zoom out a little bit here, kids. X must be the same thing as 6. No fun, get back to 1 twice. But I submit to you that that is oh so much better than just going, well, if it's 18 and you just X and then you remember this is uh, 3, then I just swap this and this. Which is true, absolutely. But if that's just a rule and you don't know why, uh, it becomes problematic later, especially when we get to trigonometry and stuff and they can't remember which, how to divide and so forth. Anyway, so just remember, no fun, get back to one, no fun, get back to one, we're back there. All right, and last but not least, have you got this all written out? 
Yep. Okay, so we're going to draw one more rectangle. Like I said, I'm, I'm just changing my blocks. Or just changing my... Here, all right, all right. So I got this. Now, guess what? I know this, and I know this, but I don't know that. Now what? Uh, six times three is eight. Fifteen, correct. But let's write this up. What do I have? You have one x. I have x divided by what? In other words, I don't know how much this is in here. I mean, we obviously know, but I mean, we're pretending we don't know. x divided by three. Wait a minute, x divided by what? Six. Six. Is the same thing as three. Three. Therefore, what must x be? Eight. X must be eight. X must be eight. Are you out your mind? Eighteen. Okay. There you go. <laughs> All right. So this way. So how do I figure that out? You. Yeah, uh, I'll give you a choice. Hero zero X. or no fun, get back to one. <laughs> what did we do? We did no fun, get back to but, one. And what did we do? We got down to one X so it's easier and then we multiplied uh, six times three. Why do we multiply six times three? Six times three. We multiply six times three because... The opposite of division is multiplication, so to figure it out. Oh, uh, okay, I like that. He falls back on the rules you've learned in public school or in your textbook. All right, try again. What do we do? All I have to do is what? No fun, get back to one. That's all I have to do. No fun, get back to one. No fun, get back to one. That's it. No fun, get back to one. That's all it is. Dude, come on. No fun, get back to one. Yep, no fun, get back to one. So, what I do over here, if I multiply over here by 6, I must multiply by over here by 6. Therefore, x, right, because here I am at 1 again. Therefore, x, I'll put it down here since I have room. x is the same thing as 3 times 6, and we don't say 3, we're not doing, right, that's not good enough. And now we have to say x is the same thing as 18. So I have to know my multiplication tables. There it is. How, how easy is this? That's the, that was the indicate where it depends on what we're trying to find out. It depends on what part of the, right? We ha we'll always have two out of three when we do problem solving. Correct? Right. 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 So in this one, I gave you, uh, yeah, you either, this time you have the two sides of the rectangle and you don't know this. The other one I had, I knew the rectangle, I knew one side and I didn't know the other side. That's the one that we started off with. Then I knew the rectangle and this side, but I didn't know that side. And I'm just showing you the algebra. That makes it clear and concise what we're doing here. What are we doing here? We're describing a rectangle right there. Right? What this is, is the across and the up. Right? So actually, I gotta do this, but wait a minute. I should write my symbols correctly. Because this should be around. But I started off with three. But it's the number taken, right? That t amount of times. Right. So it's six, three times. Right? Because I already knew the three. Anyway. But if I have the whole rectangle, and I know the one side is divided by six, there it is. The other side must be three. If I know the two sides, okay, that's all it is. No fun, get back to one. And why? Because later on, when we're doing, say, trigonometry, and I have a trig function all nicely set up, and then I can't remember what to do, right? But no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have... Oops, hold on a second here. Huh. Oh, look, more light. Hey, I'm going to have... I don't know, let's just let's use that rectangle to organize our thought, and we'll end the class. Let's say I had... Let's keep it simple. I know this is 30 degrees. Right? I know this is one, and I don't know that. Well, here's what I'm going to have. I'm going to have the sine 
of 30 degrees, and I'm skipping a lot of the lesson here, but just to integrate, uh, is 1 over x. Oh, look where the x is. It's down there. Oh, no, now what? Well, let's figure out what sine 30 is. Well, I know sine 30 is 0 0.5. 0 0.5 is the same thing as 1 over x. Oh, no, now what? Well, if I can remember to just swap them out, that's great, but no, no fun, get back to 1. What do I do? No fun, get back to 1. Okay, so what do I do? What am I going to do? We just did it a second ago. We're going to multiply both sides by what? 1. I'll try. Well, well, I'm getting at 1, but what do I have to multiply by to get rid of that? I don't like Is that any fun down there? No. So what do I do? No fun, get back to 1. Multiply, right? Multiply. Now I say 0.5x is the same thing as 1. Now what? Um, same thing as 1. So half of x is 0.5x is 1. I could have done it a nicer way, but well, it's okay. We'll come back in a second. So what do I have to do to figure out what x is? 0.5x. Is that, is that any fun? No, it's not any fun. So what am I going to do? No fun, get back to 1. Now it shouldn't be hard. What's uh, 1 divided by 0.5? Half. Half. Right? Well, wait a minute, how many 0.5s are in 1? 2. There you go. So x is the same thing as 1 divided by 0.5. Therefore, x is 2. And of course, if this is a 30 degree angle, sine 30 is exactly the same thing as a half. So, I mean, if you were just doing that way, we could skip all that math and just go, well, that's got to be a 2. Because these are equal and the equal sign never lies. But that's how we got to 2. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. All right, let's get all crazy with my triangle over here. See, look, you're, you're, we, like I said, we've been doing algebra, and now all of a sudden we're doing trig, but it's the same thing, the same thinking, logic, and reasoning. Um, let's change it around. Let's say on this one now, I don't know that, and I know this. And we've talked about our trig functions, like it's been a while, but the last time we met, we did uh, trig functions, right? Sokotoa? Yeah, Sokotoa. Remember that? Yep, Sokotoa. All right. Time 30. Right? Okay, so Sokotoa, Sokotoa, this is a special triangle, but we're just learning math using our special triangle. Did somebody say Sokotoa? Sokotoa, 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 hey, hey, Sokotoa, 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 hey, hey, Sokotoa. <laughs> okay. So what do I have? I still have sine 30 degrees, but now my x changed, right? Sine 30 is the same thing. Well, this is opposite over hypotenuse. Now I don't know my opposite. Now I know my hypotenuse is 2. Now what? How do I solve that to figure out what x is? Well, I know sine 30 is 0.5 again, or is a half. That's too easy if I just put half, because then I just put 1. But all right, then what? Sin, so 0.5 is the same thing as x over 2. Oh, no. Now what? No fun. Get back to 1. Ooh, what am I going to do? Um. Multiply by what? Multiply by x. Why would I multiply by x? I mean, sorry, 0.5. Why would I multiply by 0.5? You have your last, right? You did one, two, three. We, all right, what do I know? I want to know, I, I already know my x is divided by two. I don't want my x divided by two. What do I have to do to get x by itself? I want, I want one, so what am I going to do? How am I going to get back to one, sir? Divide by one. Divide by one? I'm going to have to multiply by something. You have two point five. Mm-hmm. Divide by half? Hmm. How about multiply? Why would I multiply? You multiply by one. Because do I want do I want to know about a half of x? No, you don't. You want one whole. You so what do I have to do? What do I have to multiply a half by to get it whole? Two. Two. So what am I gonna multiply by? Two. I'm gonna multiply by two. Why am I multiplying by two? 
Because you don't want half? Because I don't want a half? Yeah. Because no fun, get back to one, that's why. Because I want one X, I don't want a half of X, right? Right. Okay, so I'm going to multiply by two. I'm going to multiply by two. See that? What's this give me right here? Gives me one X. Gives me one X, exactly. No fun, get back to one. Now I see, therefore, X must be the same thing as two. I'm just belaboring the point here, because we could do that step, but just to make sure. Is the same thing as two times point, what's two times point five? Uh, one. Done. Therefore, X is one. And sure enough, X has to be one, because at 30 degrees, this has to be one, that has to be two. Because sine 30 is one half, right? Now, that's what I say repeatedly when I started figuring out uh, in schools that kids, and I'm talking about college kids, figured out that sine 30 was 0.5, and they completely lost the concept that the, what we're talking about is that we're talking about a relationship between this and that. Because sine actually is... Wait a minute, what's sine again? So the toy? So, uh... Sign 30, so well, I don't know. So, what, what, what sign stand for? What sign mean? What's the definition of sign? Um, Gotta know it. What is the soul? Why are we talking about soul? So, yeah. What's uh, What's the definition of sign? I know it's hypotenuse. Yeah. Well, where does the hypotenuse go? H. Right. Hypotenuse is H. It is. So what do I have? Sine is? Sine is the hypotenuse over the... Ooh, try again. So you got to know the definitions yeah. of the word. Right, that's fine. That's, I mean, that's fine. Right? You forget. Is, is uh, okay. So what is it? Sine is so opposite over hypotenuse. Remember? So sine 30 is 1 over 2. The sine at 30 degrees is 1 over 2. Opposite over hypotenuse. Right? If I change that to 35, these numbers change. But at 30 degrees, it's 1 and 2. At 10 degrees, it's different. Right? Now, what's the, what are the other definitions? Let's go over those quickly since you forgot them. So, ka. Right? Right. What, what I got here? I got, here, I'll just write them over here. The chant. What was the chant? Mui! Where's Mui? Sokatoa! Sokatoa. Did somebody say Sokatoa? Sokatoa! 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 Hey! Hey! Sokatoa! Sokatoa! Hey! Hey! Gotta know what it means though. Can't just know the chant. Toa. Sine. Cosine. What's cosine? Adjacent over hypotenuse. Very good. And then... Tan is... I'm making a mess over here. Let's make them smaller. Oh, I get small. Opposite over, not opposite. Okay. Opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, and then finally. Opposite over adjacent. There you go. And that's how we figure these out, right? And that's why we just spent that whole lesson fooling around with that rectangle, so I could figure out if I have two. Out of the three, I can figure out the other one, right? right? Now, here's the beauty of it. For all the angles, sine, cosine, and tan, from 0 to 90, we know the relationships, right? Now, we start off with the special triangles, but I know what sine 35 is. And I know what sine 87.2 is. If that's an 87 degree angle, that would be really steep, right? I know what the decimal equivalent is. So once I figure out what the two sides are, I can figure out what the other sides are. Right? If I know one, I know the other. If I know this one, I know that one. Right? Okay. And if I know, uh, like, I, like just a second ago, if I know the degree angle is 30, and I don't know this, well, I just figured out how to do it. Right? Using my algebra, which is what we've been studying for the last hour. Okay. So, uh, Katoa, so the idea is that we can make this fast and easy. We've got to know what the words mean. We have to know the definitions. 
But again, let's just get back to this. If I have 18 divided by 6 is, oops, the same thing as x, what must x be? x must be 3. If I have 18 divided by x, what must this thing be over here? Well, let's see here. If I, well, using this, it could be anything, because x could be anything, but I'm using this rectangle. So I'm going to say that this is 6. Ooh, what does x have to be? 3. All right. So if I have 18 divided by x, and now it's 3, what have I done? x is 6. Okay. So what, have I, what do I have here? I have the rectangle. I don't know one side, but I know the other side, right? Right. And over here, I have the rectangle. And I, again, I have one side, but I don't know the other side, right? Yes. And then finally, what's my last thing? I'm going to have the two sides of the rectangle. And I'm going to have 3 and 6, and the whole thing is 18. Right? Now, and I'm going to say, I know the two sides, I don't know that. Or, I could write it nicely over here, and I could say, look, this whole thing's 18. Oops, no, I don't know 18. I know the two sides. This whole thing I don't know, one side is 6, the other side must be 3. Or I could say the other side is 3, this side must be 6. But again, what am I going to have to do? I'm going to have to multiply this by this to figure out what that is, right? Correct. I'm going to have to divide this by this to find, figure out what that is. And again, I'm going to have to divide this by this to figure out what that is. But see, most people don't do no fun and get back to one twice. If they just remember, oh, just swap this, just swap this. And I'm telling you, that's the road to perdition right there. That's when math starts getting hard, when it's just rules and you don't know why. Because you just memorized it for the fun of it. All right, am I making sense? We will do this again. These are basic operations. These are basic algebraic thinking and so forth. And in one lesson is not enough. It does not make you an expert. you got to be able to do it by heart without thinking about it. And we just practice and play around with blocks, right? What do we do for the f most of the hour? We just played around with x's and uh, or x squared, x's and units, right? But it's the same thing. Now we can get into more complicated rectangles, right? Where I tell you, oh, let's get, let's do that, and then quit. Where I tell you, oh, we'll start off with an easy one. X squared plus three x plus two. Right? One side's x plus two. What's the other side have to be? X plus one. Easy, right? I know the whole rectangle. I know one side. I know the other side has to be x plus one. Right? Oh, x plus one times x plus two. What's the whole thing? X plus three. Oh, oh, what? <laughs> These are multiplied. Oh my gosh, I just gave you the two sides of the rectangle. X squared. Yeah, keep going. Plus? X squared plus three. Three what? Three. Can't just say three. X squared, X squared plus three X. And then what? What goes in the corner? Do, you do it on your little blocks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're, you're missing. Bam! You got the two sides. Tell me the whole thing. Grab that one. There you go. Stick in the corner so you can get your completion anxiety out of the way. Bam! What do you got? What did you just build? X squared plus two X. Wait a minute. One. X squared plus three how many? X squared. Plus, whoops. X plus two. X plus one. I already told you that. X plus one. X plus two. You're telling me the whole thing. Yep. X squared plus three X plus two. There you go. Took a little bit, but we're there. It's also because it's the end of the class. All right. I think I'm doing now too, and he's looking at me. No. <laughs> also, don't, don't worry about your dad. Exactly. Don't worry about your dad. Just do it. All right. So look, I have that now. Of course, if I swap this out and I make that, then what? X squared three X and two. I tell you, one side's X plus one. What's the other side have to be? X plus two. There you go. Now, last thing on the list. What's 11 times 12? I just told you X was 10. Tell me, quick. 
132. 132. Correct. Okay, that's all. What did we just do? The whole hour. All I did was we got bigger and bigger. We got up to, what did we get to? We got like the x squared. What's it say on your paper? What's the last thing we did? Just so I remember. X squared, what did we have? We did 7x, 9x, what did we got to? X squared, 9x. Yeah, plus. see? So we got all the way up to where we got at 9x, and what did we do? We just fooled around with the rectangle. I told you the whole rectangle. I told you one side, you had to tell me the other side. Or I told you the two sides, and you had to tell me the whole rectangle. Or I told you the rectangle on one side, and you had to tell me the other side. Or, and the last thing we always did was change it into base 10. So, quick, quick, quick review. And it's, like, it's time to go, but we had that, we, it's basically been an hour, but we had that little glitch where the, we had the overheating problem. All right, so what if I said, let's do, do just tell me, first thing that comes in your head, 17 times 13 is? Oh, wow, I've got, um. That's why. What, two, 221. Bam, how's that? You forgot, but you seem to remember, all right? That's why I practice. Repetition is the mother of skill, son. You have to do it over and over again until it's in there. Right? And now, how old are you? Thirteen. See, we're, 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 a little, we're a little tardy. We're not tardy for your brother, but we're a little tardy for you. Because now, doing the memorization thing is a little more difficult. Because your mind has changed from memorization. But, you gotta get these first twenty down, I'm telling you. Or at least get familiar with them. Alright, what if I did, uh, try to remember. 11s. What's it going to be? 209. Good job. And fast. All right, let's get all crazy. Mm, let's make them separate. 13. Oh, I'll tell you what. We'll put this on top. We'll make this 18, and we'll make this uh, 13 instead of 12, so it's not super easy. 224. Try again. Close. 100, 110, and 24. Oh, uh, 234. There you go. Right? You just left off that 110. Right? Because three tens, eight tens, bam. So, 324. Or, excuse me, 234. I said it dyslexically. Right? 234. Right. All right. Okay, practice, practice, practice. Play around, have a good time. I had a fun time. Hope you had a fun time. I had fun. Good. Croutonandloansouseofmath.com for more.